So this is how you put together your survey for your students. Uh, here I have already typed out all of the questions that I would like to ask and you can find this on the website as well. Um, and now you just go to Google Docs here. I'm logged in and I say create a form and then I call it student, give it a title, student info sheet. Uh, this is where I'll put all of my information that are directions for the students. And here are the questions. So I like to do this where I ask them what class we have together. Um, that way I can have one survey for all of the classes I'm teaching um, each semester. And then you can use the sort functionality to pull out each class. Um, and so those are the three courses I'm teaching right now and they'll have to pick from those. Now this is going to be a required question and if you do this they can't go forward in the survey without answering that question. So that's uh, definitely something you want to do. So once we have this finished, this is already up and available. And you just click this link. And here's the form that your students will see. And when they fill it out, they hit submit and it is all sent to you. So let's fill this out and it says my response has been recorded and we're good. So now on your side of it, on the teacher side of it that is, if you go right here you'll see student info sheet and you'll click this and right here we have a timestamp and then all the information that was just filled out. You can see it right there. Okay, so once we have the file all downloaded, all we have to do is go to File, Import, Import the file. To choose it, I put it on the desktop. Let's see, there it is. Hit Open, and it already starts to fill it in for us. So I call this Student Info Sheet. And if we take a look here, here are all of our famous people. But now what are we going to do? Well, it takes a little bit more work, but all we have to do, i first like to get rid of these, because they're not really all that important to me. But I will add, insert, new field, media, call it pick. And I put this right there. And from here, all we have to do now is get our folders. We put it in. Okay, and so now all the photos are in. And so what? What's nice about this? Well, you can come to this button and then you can see a heads up display of all of your students and even go a step further and say that you want to know their first name last name their major and maybe even what learning style they like best and so now when you go to hand out papers here you are. Their faces, their names, easy, easy, easy. So that's how you can have a database with all of your students' information.